Hi, uh, my name is Chuck Nguyen, and I just want to do a quick video, uh, video podcast of a lesson activity toolkit uh, 2.0 that comes with Smart Notebook 10. Um, I kind of just wanted to do this because I know that some teachers just don't have the time to go and explore um, how to use uh, some of these activities. But the good thing is that for Smart Notebook, um, they actually come with pre-made templates that teachers can use and customize it to their own lesson. Um, to find these lesson activity toolkits, you just got to go into the little picture frame, which is the gallery, and it'll have the ac activity toolkit 2.0. Now, some of y'all might not have 2.0 and you have 1.0, so of course some of these might not be um, in your gal in your gallery. But once you are able to update to 10.0, you should be able to get all these activities. Um, the activities are pretty much, you can find them in here, and you can just do a quick search of them also. The examples I'm going to show you today are actually all in here. The templates are all in here for you to use, and you just click um, under examples after, once again, underneath the lesson activity toolkit. Okay, let's just get to it. The first one I'm going to look at are, is an anagram. So here's a template that has already been pre-made by a Smart Notebook, and I'm just going to show you the example, and then I'll quickly show you how to edit it. So what to do, this is what you would do. You've got yourself points up here. Uh, down here you've got a clue, and just press start. So once the student gets on the board, you can just press board start. And remember anagrams is just mixed up letters that the students are going to have to put in order. So when they're, out, when they're up at the smart board, they can just take their fingers and start moving around. This particular one, it looks like the W is capitalized, so it's going to help them. They have a time limit here, and if they're stuck, they just click on the, the clue. Now, the problem with this is that just part of, it's actually the clue should have been, been, should have been a picture there, um, or you could probably even put in a uh, word clue instead of a picture clue. Um, so you notice that I was able to do this in 46 seconds, and so they actually give the student a score. So this is probably a really good um, competition. You can just do a quick warm-up right when the students get into the classroom, um, and just let them maybe jog their memory a little bit. Okay. Now, uh, and honestly, so let's go ahead and go into the edit mode. So the edit is where you can create and customize it to your own taste. So click on the edit. And in here, you pretty much just type in what you want, and then uh, see for this particular one, they actually uh, they actually had a clue earlier with the image here. Um, but we can go ahead and go on to the second one, and let's go ahead and so you can just uh, you can actually set the speed from fast, medium to slow, and then whether you want the timer or not on there. It looks like the timer was set at 100 seconds, um, and then. If you you can actually password protect it. All you gotta do is type in your, the word. So I'm just gonna type in pretend type in the word password, and you can't even see it. And then once you type it in, just click on it, and then you password protect it so that no one can change it except for you. Okay. Um, another way you can probably use a password is that you know you have you can actually just give a, a password to a particular class and let them use that. So I'm gonna click OK. Once you click OK, you're back to the screen, and you click the word start. And once again, I'm gonna do it again. So we can go into the second one. Remember this one particularly, this one actually didn't have a clue, so I got it right, so I got 80. So it looks like they get an extra 50 points. Uh, 80 plus 50 gives them 131 points, okay? I'm going to go to the next word, and let's pretend I have no idea what this word is. So I'm gonna click on the clue, and the clue that you had typed in, or they had typed in is releasing photosynthesis, and the students, like once again, they enjoy using the fingers on the board, and and let's pretend that I, I'm, I'm stuck. Let's see what happens if the time runs out. Okay. Okay. Another of the ways that you know if a student gets stuck, maybe they get two of them on there and they can just do a tag team. Remember, you can work this with any vocabulary word. So let's just say the time ran out and you're like, oh, let's keep, you know, encourage the students to still try. Maybe they can get the whole class to help the student. And so we know that the word is oxygen. Okay. Well, excellent. Well, it looks like they didn't receive any scores. Um, actually, you know what? They did. They got 50 extra points for just solving the, the problem. So, um, that's good. Then, you know, instead of just getting zero points. Okay? Um, and this is what the actual template would look like if you just went into the gallery and go into activities and just type in the word anagram. 
and do a search for anagram and you will come with it, you go into the interactive and multimedia and there's different colors of anagrams, there's blue, brown, usually they come with six different colors uh, of the template. You can of course go and retype anything you want to, you can do, you know, hey, set, set up, you can set up the whole year or the whole six weeks of this and just put like uh, week one, day one, whatever date that you want to and this is actually just the template that it starts off with. Okay. Well, hope to see you at lesson two.